Enhanced cellular connectivity enables something truly liberating, the ability to stay connected with just your watch. Phone calls, music streaming, and even emergency assistance are all immediately available from your wrist. Apple Watch Series 4 is a device so powerful, so personal, so liberating, it can change the way you live each day. Series 4 will be available in three aluminum finishes, silver, gold, and space gray. And the stainless collection is absolutely beautiful with polished and space black. We shipped stainless before, but there's something about Series 4 that is even more gorgeous. And there's a brand new finish, gold stainless, which is, uh, is wonderful paired with this Milanese loop. All band colors and band styles fit any generation of Apple Watch. So all those Series 4 uh, customers, all the bands that you already own will work just fine on the Series 4. <laughs> for customers who love Nike Plus, especially runners, it's been optimized for Series 4 with full screen watch faces that look great. And they've done something really cool with the Nike Sport Loop. They've added reflective yarn for uh, nighttime visibility. <laughs> Apple Watch Hermes continues this fall with some bold new looks. Uh, there's, uh, there's these gorgeous color blocks on the watch face, and they change with the passage of time, and they look really wonderful paired with the new Dublator bands. Apple Watch Series 4 with GPS starts at $399. Series 4 with cellular starts at $499. And we're keeping Series 3 in the line at more affordable prices starting at just $279. <laughs> Series 4 GPS will be available in 26 markets at launch. Series 4 with cellular will start in 16 markets with 34 carriers. That's more than twice the number of carriers we had last year. You can order Series 4 starting Friday, and it will be available the following Friday, September 21st. Series 3 at the new prices is available right after the show. And Watch OS 5, the most advanced wearable operating system, will be available on September 17th. That's Apple Watch, and now back to Tim. Thanks, John. Thank you. I could not be more excited about the Apple Watch Series 4. Apple Watch is really redefining what a watch can do for you. Now, we made a video about how the Apple Watch is inspiring people all around the world to be more active, and I'd love to run it for you now. I think you're gonna get a kick out of it. You put your right arm in, you put your right arm out, you put your right arm in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Left foot. You put your left foot in.
We really love what the Apple Watch is doing to get the world moving. So that is Apple Watch. Now let's talk about iPhone. Yeah. iPhone 10 defined the future of the smartphone. It introduced new technologies that is at the cutting edge of what's possible. With a stunning all-screen design and intuitive gestures, with technologies like the True Depth camera system and Face ID, where your phone knows what you look like and your face becomes your password. iPhone 10 has an incredible camera system that uses intelligent software to make the most stunning portraits. This was only previously possible with pro-level equipment. And there are so many other innovative technologies that are built right in. And of course, all of them are powered by the world's most advanced mobile operating system, iOS. iPhone 10 has changed the industry. And along the way, it became the number one smartphone in the world. <laughs> but what's most important to us is that it's the most loved smartphone with an amazing 98% customer satisfaction. Now, today, we're going to take iPhone 10 to the next level. I'm excited to show you what is by far the most advanced iPhone we have ever created. This is iPhone XS. It is the most advanced iPhone we've ever created. And I'd like to invite Phil up to tell you all about it. Phil? Thank you, Phil. Well, good morning, everyone. I am so excited to tell you all about iPhone XS. It is made of a surgical grade stainless steel. It has a gorgeous new gold finish on the front and on the glass. It is the most beautiful iPhone we have ever made. The screen goes top to bottom, edge to edge, rounded into the corners. And it's covered on the front and the back with a new formulation of glass that is the most durable glass ever in a smartphone. iPhone XS comes in three finishes, gold, silver, and space gray. They are beautiful. And they're protected from dust and liquids to an even higher level now, IP68. That means it's protected to two meters for up to 30 minutes. So if you happen to be hanging by the pool, drop your phone in the water, don't worry. Dive down, grab it, rinse it, let it dry. You'll be fine. And the team tests it in many different liquids, in chlorinated water, salt water, orange juice, tea, wine, even beer. Now, this is some of the most fun, intense testing we get to do at Apple. <laughs> well, the screen on iPhone XS is a super retina display, the best we've made yet. It's an OLED display, 5.8 inches on the diagonal. It has 2.7 million pixels, 458 pixels per inch, the highest quality display on an iOS device. Now let's put it side by side with our plus size phone, an iPhone 8 Plus. And as you can see, it's as big a display as the plus size phone, but in a smaller design. And so many customers love that about that. Big display, easy, comfortable to hold in your hand. And it looks incredible. Watching movies on it, the latest HDR movies, like Lego Batman, <laughs> using the latest formats, Dolby Vision HDR10. 
Your photos look stunning on iPhone XS. You shoot them with beautiful wide color, and they display better than ever on the new Super Retina display because it has a 60% greater dynamic range for colors in your photos than the iPhone X's display. It is gorgeous. Well, the iPhone XS is not just one, but two sizes of display. The 5.8 inch and a new 6.5 inch Super Retina display. This is the biggest display ever on an iPhone. It is an OLED display as well. 3.3 million pixels, 458 pixels per inch again. Now, a lot of our customers have loved the plus size iPhones, so let's put that side by side. You can see it's about the same size phone with a much larger display. We think there are a lot of customers who are going to love this larger display. Now, the 5.8 inch, we already said, was as big as a plus size display. So what do you call a phone that's bigger than plus size? Well, we call it the iPhone XS Max. And the Max is an incredible experience. Watching videos on it is cinematic. Looking at your photos bigger than ever is incredible. Surfing the web, looking at flyovers and map, even when you're using some of the built-in apps, the team is taking advantage of the wider display when it's in horizontal mode to give you a split view like here in contacts. It's awesome for editing videos in iMovie, for creating songs with GarageBand, even playing immersive killer games. It's so much fun on the iPhone XS Max. So there are two Super Retina displays now, 5.8 inch, 6.5 inch, both OLED displays both a million to one contrast ratio. They're HDR displays. They have fast 120 hertz touch sensitive layer. That's how it gets its smooth scrolling, really fast typing and gaming response. They both have 3D touch for pressure sensitivity. They have tap to wake. They have incredible color management. They're true tone displays, so the paper white looks just right in all the different lighting that you use it. And they have wide color. These are amazing displays. And we've matched them to incredible sound systems as well. Stereo sound, better than in any iPhone to date. Now, with the XS, you get a wider stereo field. The team has matched powerful speakers with great software to deliver an even richer sound experience. So watching movies sounds incredible. And playing games, like Auto Odyssey, which previously told you to put on headphones, now you just want to listen through the speakers because of that beautiful wide stereo sound. Of course, listening to music and watching music videos like the Foo Fighters sounds better than ever. All right, let's talk about Face ID. Face ID is a huge step forward in biometric protection for all of our personal data on our devices, and customers love it. It is powered by our True Depth camera system. And there's so much technology in that little space right there. An infrared camera, flood illuminator, proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, dot projector, front camera, speaker and microphone, all working together to give protection to the data on our devices. And they're designed with multiple neural networks, so it's secure and seamless in the iPhone experience. With iPhone XS, you just pick up your iPhone, look at it, it recognizes your face, and unlocks your notifications and information. And it does it faster than ever before, because the XS now has faster algorithms and runs on a faster version of the secure enclave. So it's gotten even better. Face ID works remarkably well. In fact, we're proud to say it is the most secure facial authentication ever in a smartphone. <laughs> the powering Face ID in everything we do on the iPhone is our A-series chip. And the team has worked so hard to make every generation of the A-series chip better than any in ever, ever in a smartphone. And this year, is no exception. What the team has done is truly, truly breakthrough. It's called the A12 Bionic. <laughs> and the A12 Bionic is the industry's first seven nanometer chip. And that's a huge breakthrough, yes. <laughs> now the, A the A12 Bionic is packed with 6.9 billion transistors. And what the team has done with all that is remarkable. So let's go through some of the things in this chip. We're gonna talk about the CPU, the GPU, and the neural engine. Let's start with the CPU. 
It is an Apple Design six core CPU. This is a fusion system. It has two high performance cores, four high efficiency cores. The two high performance cores run up to 15% faster than the cores in the A11 Bionic, while also being 40% more energy efficient. And the high efficiency cores are up to 50% more energy efficient. And all six cores can run at once. The GPU, well, this is an Apple Design GPU. It is so powerful. Now, the A11 GPU was already ahead of anything else in the industry. The A12 GPU is now up to 50% faster than the A11. So a huge jump in graphics performance. But the real advancement, the real blowaway thing, is this neural engine. Now, you know we introduced the first neural engine last year with the A11 Bionic. With the A12 Bionic, we take it much further. The A11 was a two-core design. This is an eight-core dedicated machine learning engine to power all that great machine learning software on our systems. And it has a smart compute system. And what that means, it's able to analyze the neural network data and figure out on the fly whether to run it on the CPU, the GPU, or the neural engine. I mean, this is breakthrough. And the performance is unmatched. We told you last year the A11 Bionic could process an insane 600 billion operations per second. Well, the A12 Bionic is able to process five trillion operations per second. Unbelievable. Now, the A12 Bionic is a complete system on a chip, so there's so much more. And the team works very hard to be just as innovative at every one of these things in the A12 Bionic. It has a next generation image single processor, incredible video coders and decoders. There's our display engine, our audio system. Of course, it is a secure enclave. There's memory controllers, storage controllers. The Apple Design storage controller in the A12 Bionic can now address twice as much internal storage as previously. So now you can up to 512 gigabytes of internal storage if you want. That's a half a terabyte on your iPhone in your pocket. That's enough for over 200,000 photos stored on your iPhone. It is incredible. This A12 Bionic is without question the smartest and most powerful chip ever in a smartphone. <laughs> so much of the experience we have with iPhone is driven by this chip, and it's going to enable us to have so many great new experiences not possible before. So I'm very excited to bring out Kyan Drance to show you just what we can do with iPhone and Kyan is our Senior Director of iPhone Product Marketing. Uh, Kyan? Thank you, Phil. Thank you. A12 Bionic was designed for iPhone, not any other smartphone. This is one of the reasons why our team can deliver a chip designed for incredible performance, great battery life, for everything iPhone needs from our everyday tasks to our most advanced technologies, such as every time you look at your phone and unlock it with Face ID, or play an immersive game on our edge-to-edge -edge <coughs> Super Retina display. And each time you take a remarkable photo, every single thing you do touches the chip, the CPU, the GPU, or any other powerful component all throughout, best in class, and designed for iPhone for the very best performance. So, next time you unlock your phone. Perhaps launch photos, searching through the thousands of photos you have to find just the one you're looking for, deciding how to share it amongst different apps, such as messages, and then moving on to the next thing with multitasking, perhaps landing in maps to find directions. A12 Bionic makes these everyday tasks feel fast and effortless. And A12 Bionic, with the performance updates in iOS 12, helps apps launch up to 30% faster. So we'll focus on these everyday experiences, but even beyond that, such as those that make use of machine learning. Now, we've used machine learning for a number of years now to make our features even better, such as quick type suggestions in messages, in memories, how we curate your photos and videos, getting real-time suggestions in maps when you need them, our true tone adaptive display, of course, finding the very best photo of your cat or other pet. 
But what's really remarkable this year is that our next generation neural engine unlocks the power of real-time machine learning. This is incredibly important for apps like camera. And we use that depth information for portrait mode and portrait lighting. In Animojis, mapping those 50 different facial muscles over your face in a live FaceTime call. That is computationally really intense. And of course, our immersive AR experiences, our fun new Memoji, and the new Clips app launching this fall will make use of portrait segmentation on the neural engine for even better selfie scenes like the one you see here in Incredibles 2. In iOS 12, we're also announcing and launching Siri shortcuts so you can get even more done with just a tap or by asking Siri to help. You can easily create a shortcut with multiple steps like the one I used this morning. Let's take a look. I just press and hold or ask Siri to run my keynote day shortcut. Now the first thing it'll do, it'll kick off my home kit enabled accessories, then I'll order my morning coffee. It'll tell me how long it takes for me to go pick it up. And then it'll kick off the reminder I set to not forget my badge, get me driving directions, and start my music playlist. 